Here we go. Uh, oh, by the way, before we start, make sure you guys check out uh, Tac Tac. It's right here. Tac Tac 1893. Make sure you guys check this guy out on uh, on YouTube. These are his videos. He's given me permission to do commentary over them and re-upload them to my channel. Super cool dude, supporter of the scene, giving us access to a lot of great matches. Make sure you check him out. Uh, and he puts up the raw footage too, so like you can do whatever you want with it, right? Just get his permission, and then you you know you can analyze or whatever. Anyway, sh shut the fuck up. Here we go. This should be a beatdown. This should be a beatdown. I mean, Galaxinia, I would imagine, is gonna be way rustier than Only Breakfast, right? But, let me turn it down. Damn, this shit's loud as fuck. Hold on, hold on. Way better. Right? Okay, where were we? Some ghosts who support Tekken boys. Thanks very much, Tekken 7 2017, and happy National Pizza Day. Oh, you. Appreciate that. Muchos Garcias. <laughs> She's got pepperonis for a bra. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, okay. Anyway, uh, what, what are we looking at here? <laughs> um, man, Distraction City. I want to fuck that pizza. <laughs> Keep your minds out of the gutter, will ya? Alright, alright. Bagoo, shoulder. Nice. Pressure. Man, this is a beatdown. Uh, that's what I, that's what I, uh, expected. Let's see here. Down three, huh? Who said that? M. Taz. Turn what up? The game? You guys gotta tell me. Oh, a little bit louder. Okay, sure. Oh, that's too loud. Anyway, thanks very much, M. Taz. I really appreciate that. Chat room, hook him up with some hot dogs. Let's iron out the kinks of this and then get started, will ya? Anyway, thanks very much for the support, everybody. Muchos Garcias. Oh, this is gonna be huge damage. That's the highest damage launcher that Dragonoff has. Wow, why do you go for that? I wonder if that's a good idea. I don't think so. Maybe it is. Maybe like while standing four. Damn, again? Two in one round? Oh my god. You're dead. Ugh. Damn, Galaxini, dude. I watched this guy a lot in Tekken 6. This guy, he was really good. I learned a lot from him. Galaxini and his brother. I forgot what his brother's name is. He's got another stupid name like Galaxini. And, uh. Doxin or something. Isn't Galaxini's brother's name Doxin or some shit? Galaxini, Doxini or some shit? They're a ma magic duo. One, two. Running two. Oh, that's another thing. I forgot what the numbers were, but I think running two is more advantage on block. Hey, chat room, you guys tell me. Running two. And back one plus two for Dragon Off are both better on block. They're improved, right? Back one plus two used to be plus three, and now I think it's plus five. And running two, I think is I forget what it is. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's National Pizza Day today. You guys didn't know that? Come on, man. Chimon. Where is it? Is this it? That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. By the way, I sent an email. That's it. I sent an email to Lord Valle asking if it was cool, but he hasn't responded yet. Fight. Mm. Where were we? Down two. Oh yeah, does anybody know the plus frames? I, I hear it's plus five and back one plus two is what? Running two is plus five and back one plus two is Lars will forever be top ten yay in my heart. Thanks, Zoo Echo. Uh Lars will forever be top ten in my heart, whatever. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know, they're gonna change him, I'm sure. I, I think he's probably too weak in the in T seven. The system really didn't help him. But you know what? In Faded Retribution, there are gonna be those EX moves that are combo extenders, and it looks like his is like a interesting one, right? It's like a double extension for his combo. 
So, I don't know what that could... What kind of uses these EX moves could have on block and shit, right? Ooh, too low to the ground. Plus six for both? That is crazy. So back one plus two used to be plus three, and now it's plus six. And running two used to be plus four, and now it's plus six. That is huge. Why the fuck am I not playing Dragon off? Dragonov's fucking gonna be super good in this game. It's just that I've been playing Dragonov so long and it's just I'm tired of it. I want to play a new character and have fun. Dragonov was like when I was really, really serious about the game. And I really, really wanted to win badly at all costs. But I feel like these days I, I want to entertain myself more than anything. <laughs> Take off those pepperonis. <laughs> That'll cost you. Thanks very much, Norwegian Viking. <laughs> that gif is so weird. <laughs> she's got like basil in her hair, like a bow, and uh, she's wearing a, a pepperoni bra. That is such a good fucking gif. Someone tweeted that to me today, and I was like, damn, I gotta use that. That's a good one. Anyway, thanks very much. I appreciate that. One, two, man, Dragon Off. Beast. I haven't really thought of great ways to use his super. You know, like for King, I feel like the uses for King's super are really good, right? Like you can, if they hit the wall and you have a super, you should do it because it just basically, it's gonna give you a guaranteed uh, alley kick at the end. So it's like the max damage combo if you have it. So that's one way to do the super. And King's is also a mid that has really long range. So for a whiff punish, you could definitely use that. Whiff punish with a super. But for Dragonov, his is kind of like a backswing blow animation. And, you know, I don't really know how to use it. Oh, nice punish. You're dead. Wow, back jump. Man, those Chinese get-ups now... They really are buffed, like crazy. You could combo off them. Ouch! This is gonna hurt. Yeah, excuse me. Sidewall. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Up 4-2. That shit's a normal hit launcher? Oh my god. Yeah, Dragonov's really good. Dragonov's really, really good in this game. I think they're probably gonna nerf him in, uh, in Faded Retribution, but you know what? Maybe because they're so happy that uh, Nobisan won the global, maybe they won't nerf him because they want Nobisan to be the best. I know for a fact that the Namco and all those guys, they're real butthurt that uh, Korea always wins, right? So they were super excited when Nobi beat Ni. Nee. So maybe there's going to be some top secret uh, collusion. There's going to be they're going to be sipping on piña coludas over there, and they're going to keep him buff. Cause I mean I can't believe uh, I can't believe they even buffed the shit they did in vanilla, right? Dragonoff was already really good. Dragonoff was already really good in tag two, and then they buffed up running two, back one plus two, gave him all this new shit. He's good. Up forward two is a launcher. Crazy man. Four four. That works really well too. You can do four four into the wall while standing one plus two in a lot of cases. What are they doing? Oh, they're testing. They were just testing that. Did you see that? That was interesting. Ugh, wake up, bitch. We're done testing. Wow, I didn't know that as a combo. Delayed hop kick? Forward, two, four, forward, one plus two? I didn't know that was a combo. That's a fucking crazy combo. I didn't know that was a combo. Part of the reason I wanted to watch this is because I haven't really been brushing up with uh, Dragon Off lately and I want to see what I'm missing. That was one of the things I'm missing. <laughs> that means Crouch Dash 2 uh, is going to do the same thing, right? Crouch Dash 2, forward 2, 4, forward 1 plus 2. Interesting. Back 1 is such a good move now, too. Because it's a corkscrew, you know? Man, the back walk, walk implementation. I like that, too. Watching these really makes me miss uh, Japan. Oh, what are you ducking for? Giant orbital heal, and that's the new wall carry corkscrew thing for Lord Lars. 
I think Lars looks cooler in this game than he did before, but... I don't know. I wish he was a little better. I kind of got used to Lars being cheap. And a nerfed Lars, it kind of feels like... Uh, weird, right? It's kind of It kind of reminds me of... Mm, like Kazuya in T4. It's like Kazuya in T4 fucking sucks. You know, and it was like, what is this Mishima doing here? You know, he's all fucking whack and he got neutered. I don't know. Seeing Lars not be overpowered is odd. I like it when he's good. He's always been good since fucking T6. He's always good. He's always super good. I think it's just the system for the most part. The corkscrew thing and them taking away Bound. The thing is, the character was designed when Bound was in mind, right? The whole character's design is based on the concept of Bound. And now that they removed Bound and added Corkscrew, some characters are going to benefit and some characters are going to kind of be uh, damaged by this inclusion, you know? And King is one of the characters that naturally benefits because they put down forward 2 1 as a Corkscrew. So you could do that shit all day. Yeah, down forward two for Lars. Jesus Christ. How do you how can she slap? That is the move. Ouch. No, he fucked up the stomp. Man, that round was a beatdown. You can counter hit confirm one to one, by the way, for Dragon Off. That's a really, really good tool. Ooh, not in the back. What kind of a fucking combo was that? Wow, this guy's partying hard. And now he's screwed. Partying screwed. Oh, nice. Wow, that was so sick. Did you see that? That was so sick. Only breakfast. Only breakfast. Did you see that? Duck the high, stand, arc blast. That was legit. That was sick. While standing. Boom! At least that's still around. I think they nerfed it though. I think the range is reduced. Wow, he's going for it. Sweet. That doesn't knock down? What? That doesn't knock down? Why? Oh my god. Poor Lars. Ouch! Fuck Lars. That did a grip. That doesn't knock down though, is it still launch punishable? Plus five, plus six, another one. Look at all the broken shit all over the floor. The whole fucking place is jacked up. That's crazy. Look at all the shit all over the floor, everything's broken. Is that a bug? I thought those broken parts are supposed to disappear. Man, shit looks cool. Shoe shine. Oh yeah, that's a good whiff punish. Yeah, who cares about counter hit? I don't care about counter hit. That should be a normal hit. Knockdown. If it's launch punishable. Okay. Hmm. Damn, checking Twitter on his cell phone? I never even saw that. The stage damage finally sticks around in T7? Really? That's cool. I didn't know that. Okay. Down forward one. Did you see the high crush there? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Only breakfast. Dropped it. Down two. Beautiful. Is that 13 frames? I thought that was 14. If it's 13, then that's legit, because down 2 for Dragon Off should be minus 13. But if it's 14, I don't like the sound of that. Down 3. Up forward 4. No! Why didn't you do up forward 4? You want to do up forward 4 as Dragon Off when the opponent's... Uh, when the wall is to the opponent's left. And to your right, like right here, he wants to do a lot of up forward four because that shit tracks in the direction where he needs to step to get away from the wall, and it's a launcher, and it's safe. So when that's 
the position you're in, there's really... That's like your number one thing you're going to want to do, and then other things you only do to set that up. When that's the position you're in. You know, up forward four, when the wall is to your right and to the opponent's left, it's where it's at, especially in T7. I don't know what it's going to be like in Faded Retribution, but right now in vanilla T7, sidestepping sucks. It's really hard to do, but I mean, you still have to do it. You know, it's not like a 2D game. It's still there, it's just really tight. So, in a, damn. In a game like this, I think it's way more important to do that. Oh. Because they're not going to be able to sidestep out. Another no knockdown. That's rough. He, the round could have been over if that was a knockdown. Shoulder. No, jump over. Nice low parry. Beautiful. That was sick. Why are there so many Tekken noobs in an ATP stream? Well, you gotta remember something. I stopped playing Tekken when I had about 10,000 or 12,000 followers on Twitch, right? I stopped really playing Tag 2 that much. And now I have 44 almost thousand followers on Twitch. So Tekken fans are probably a minority at this point, right? So you have to consider that. You guys are, you guys are, uh, you know, you guys are a minority. There's a lot of noobs around here, which is not a bad thing, because they're going to be able to check out Tekken, you know? They're going to be able to be introduced to something that I think is, you know, one of the coolest games there is. Right? Yeah, it's not only Big Tuesday, it's also fucking National Pizza Day. Yeah, dude, there are very few, if you think about it, 44,000 people, and there was only 12,000 followers when I was playing Tekken. So, we're talking 30,000 new people. 30,000. That's a lot, you know? So you gotta understand, people are gonna be noobs. So you don't be a dick. <laughs> Do me a favor and don't be a shithead. <laughs> or I guess you could be a shithead, but at least, if you're gonna be an asshole, be funny. That's the only thing I ask. But try not to be an asshole if you could do that. And if you could just be funny without being an asshole, you know that'd be the best. Anyway, keep it down over there. Round three. Fight. Down back to one. That move's really good still. I mean, he just... He just doesn't have, like, the same... Like, he's not as dangerous. Lars just isn't as dangerous. Nice crouch. Only breakfast, man. He's so sharp. Drops the combo right when I'm giving him a compliment. Ouch. Yeah. Excuse me. He should have, uh, counter hit confirmed that. Or he should have done one two and counter hit confirm that. Round four. Fight. Anyway, here we go. Down jab, man. Ouch. Big damage. And here's the wall. Jesus! Oh my god, reruns! Four of them! Five of them! Oh, he fucked it up. You can only do five in a row. But there's that up forward four I was talking about near the wall. At least he's listening. He's watching the stream. This is a recorded match, by the way. Uh, forward two. Nice block. Boom, you're in big trouble. Uh-oh. While standing one, two. Big whiff! Where's the arc blast? Only breakfast. Down back four. Big whiff again! Where is... That must have been an arc blast right there. It ended up being forward one, two or whatever. You know? Ouch. Boom, boom. Into the wall, you're dead. Nice. Nice. Galaxini, man. These two guys are really good. Both players are, like, uh, really experienced uh, Tekken players. Oh, what's going on, Lord Chat Room? National, uh, happy National Pizza Day, everybody. I love pizza. Round one. Fight. Ooh. Can he go all the way? No way. See, that's what I'm talking about. He doesn't have it. 
That was a lot of damage, though. 4-1? Where's the Arc Blast? Only Breakfast is fucking up with the Arc Blast. I feel like that's like one of the main Lars things, right? With Punish with Arc Blast. Here we go. Launcher at the start of the round. One, two, three. Almost 50%. Not quite. With the wall? I'd say that's kind of fair, right? If he had got some Okazemi, maybe he could have put him near death. So he said that. Superior to Lord Tekken. Hold that beat, 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 kappa, kappa, ball, straight. Thanks very much, Cory Legend. What are you guys talking about? Lord Souls is superior to Lord Tekken? Uh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Thanks very much, Lord Cory Legend. Uh, Souls is superior to Lord Tekken. I don't think that we can uh, really uh, compare the two, right? But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, Lord Tekken compared to PvPing in Souls games, that's a different story. That's a different story. PvPing in Souls games, it's like the ultimate nerd shit. Ultimate. Ultimate nerd shit. Which is cool because sometimes you're really into a game and you're just a really big nerd at the same time. But just play a fighting game, bro. Just saying. Anyway, thanks very much. Is Eddie in Tekken 7? Uh, they haven't announced Eddie in Tekken 7, and from the look of it, there are a lot of Eddie moves that are shared by Lucky Chloe. So some people are saying that Nina's wearing a wedding dress because she got married to Eddie, and Lucky Chloe is her daughter, and Eddie's out. That's not confirmed by Nanko. That's just some fanfic shit. That's some fanfic shit. Fic shit. Uh, anyway, I don't fucking know, man. Why don't you ask Harada? Why are you asking me? Don't give a shit about that. Boom, one plus two grab. Big damage. Running two inbound? Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. Nothing. Only breakfast. Chilling on this lead. Down back 2-1. Another. The comeback? No way. Have you noticed these guys don't really use supers all that much? Especially not Galaxini, right? Round two. Fight. I don't usually show my face when I do Ghost of Mystery Tekkens, because I mean, you don't usually. I'm just commentating on the match. I'm not really playing. Plus, I'm completely naked. Mm, while standing 1 3. Well, not completely. Uh, okay, here we go. Back to. What? Where is it? Come on, man. That was a whiff like crazy. Yeah, that's what you should have done last time. Up forward three is so good. I love that move. Oh, nice. Nice. You shine on the ground. Wow. Why the hell did he flip over like that? That must be like, because he was... I don't know what the hell happened there. Because it was a corkscrew move, I guess? I don't fucking know. That was weird. Oh, Lord chat room. What's going on, everybody? Nice. That's a good move. It looks like that high crushes. I don't know how to do it, but I know it's his uh, corkscrew move, and it seems like people use it a lot for, like, a mid-range poke, and, wow, that was really nice. Sidestep right, and then, boom, uh, jet uppercut. Yeah, excuse me. Down two. Oh shit, this is gonna be a photo finish. Are we gonna get slow-mo? No. Damn it. I love the slow-mo. When do you think we'll get a Tekken 7 console release? Everyone always asks that, and you know, my opinion on it is, if you look at it historically, right, if the beta test is this weekend, then that means that the game should launch in about a month or two, right? So right now it's February, in a month or two it should be April, right? So March, April. There's no way, if the game comes out in April, there's no way it's going to come out on consoles before six months after that. 
right? So that's October. So the earliest, earliest, earliest you could expect Tekken 7 to be on console is October, if you ask me. I don't know that for sure. I'm just based on history. I'm guessing that the earliest you could expect it is October, but it, it, there's potential for quarter one uh, 2017 as well. I don't know. It could be early 2017 or late 2016. There were a lot of delays in Tekken 7's development, I think. Uh, how long is the Wizard World Tekken 7 circuit going to be a thing? I don't know. I doubt console is going to be released before that. Yeah, that's possible, though I don't know for sure. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know a lot of these details. I don't know. Alright. And this is pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Enjoying some matches, shooting the breeze with the Lord chat room. <clears throat> Anybody eating pizza today? Man. He's never gonna use that super. I, I One of the things I want to watch is, you know, the uses for that super. I always watch Nobi. He uses it a lot too, but... You know, he's just one person. I want to get more... Uh, you know, watch more matches. Who said that? Rabbit Poo. 22 days straight. Hey, uh, X Marduk, you can just Twitter that to me. I'm not gonna click that right now. What if it has dicks? Sorry, man. Twitter, any kind of bad... Or you can send me a message on, uh, a PM on, uh, whatever this website you're watching is called. Twitch. Send me a DM on Twitch. Anyway. Um, thanks. Whatever. See, he's got the Rage Assault. Oh my god. Instead of using it for good, he uses it for evil. Hey, thank you again, Rabbit Poo. I really appreciate the support. Muchos Garcias. Yeah, Eris wants to steal tech. I agree. Yeah, no dicks. I'm esports, man. One dick is okay, but multiples? I don't think so. Once you put an S on the end of that shit, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh oh, is this gonna be it? Galaxini, dude. Shoe shine. Only breakfast. Look at the sidesteps from Only Breakfast. Good throw break. Wow, big trade. Oh my god. Only breakfast, you son of a bitch. I hate it when people are so good that they are prepared to combo off of a trade. I hate that. Like, in, especially in a situation like that. It's different when it's a launcher. But in a situation like that, he still got the launcher. Such good uh, uh, awareness, you know? I've been in this situation a million times. Fucking cheap asshole. Boom, boom. Only breakfast wants the jug. He's got three wins in a row. Galaxini's days are numbered. Oh, he didn't get mixed up there. I like that. He knew the shoe shine wouldn't kill him. So standing stand block was a better option. Uh oh, not looking good. Galaxini, you better show us your prestige. Ah, oh, man, I think this might be it. Lord practice. He means business. Lord business. Running two. Does that mean back two? Is that back two? Yeah, that's back two, right? The no, that's back one. Uh, Lars's homing move. Does that wall splat? No way. Yeah, excuse me. Backswing blow. You need a counter hit. Ah man, that's crazy. That's plus six now. Back one plus two. Oh, nice sidestep left. Galaxini. Galaxini! Why is he doing that instead of running two? He's fucking up. We've got the Rage Assault. Running two. Down back two. Safe poke. That's a good, really safe option. Because it beats a lot of stuff, too. Down back two. And it, it, you know, if it whiffs, it's not that big of a deal. And there's a follow up that's delayable. Down back two, one. Also mid. Oh my god, is that it? Nice. Three seconds. Good patience from Galaxini. That was legit. 
Alright, orbital. Down one. No. Holy breakfast, man. This is gonna be rough. Boom, boom, shoulder. Okazumi. Can you believe some fucking morons put stupid comments saying, Eris, it's not Okazumi, it's Okizame. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Why would someone at this point correct me? Are you serious? Why would you even bother correcting me? Is there more? Didn't he get demoted? Oh, he did a... <gasps> oh, he paid an extra credit to do a, a special revenge. I told you guys about this. So if you get demoted, you have the opportunity to do a special revenge match. And so he paid extra right now to do a special revenge match, which means he has the opportunity to defend his uh, shit again. Thanks very much, Gunlord. This is going to be good. Hell sweep. Running two down two. Galaxini. This guy really wants this shit. He paid double. He paid double. Boom. One, two. Man, only breakfast is fucking starving right now. He wants some breakfast. Oh. He did it again. He did it again. Thank you again for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Did you see him crouch to high and then stand up and arc blast? That's what I'm talking about. Only practice is pissed. He's fucking pissed because you tried giving him some lunch and then dinner. Don't you know his name? Okay, here we go. Back one. The cancel, he's not going to fall for it. Oh my god. Threatening the shoe shine? Oh, big whiff. I feel like Galaxini needs to step up his whiff punishing. Damn the pressure, he's in his head. Wait a minute. Oh! On the other side. Big damage. Okizami, fucking morons. I know it's Okizeme, you dumbass. Eat shit if you watch this. Back one. Stupid assholes. Eris, it's Okizeme. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, weeboo. Alright, here we go. Boom, 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 into the wall. Dude, what the hell? What the hell was that? The big whiff, where's the arc blast? Only breakfast. Oh my god, demon flip to the other side to get away from the wall? Son of a bitch. Now two. Oh, you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble. You're dead. Bagoosh. He paid double for that. He paid double for that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, I gotta say I don't really love that whole idea. The special revenge match. I think it's kind of fucked up. That you give the guy who just got demoted the opportunity to pay double to try and do a demotion match again sucks <laughs> but them's the breaks so uh you know pay double to get bodied yeah you know it uh okay so let's see here should i take a whiz now i'm pretty sure that sensation i i'm i'm feeling in my loins is actually me having to take a whiz this next match is 20